a super easy way to do realistic easy lighting for exterior archviz scenes, and it goes like this. Say you're done with your project, the modeling at least, and you want a quick pro lighting, the easiest way to take is a dynamic skies, aka HDRI. So you go to the world light settings and you click the color input, then search for an environment texture to add the HDRI in it. Now from where you get these sky images, different sites, HDRI Hub, the HDRI Haven, or the most known one of them, the Poly Haven. Here you can get up to 16K quality images and with one click, so search for a one that fits, daylight or night, and just download it. If we switch to render view, we will get a good lighting without doing anything. We just need to control its direction, meaning the sun rotation in the sky, which is super easy. So, for the sky rotation, you can open the shading on any area, change it to world type. This here is the HDRI we added, but in nodes. So we can select it and hit Control T to add both the mapping and the texture coordinate. Keep in mind that you need to enable the Node Wrangler add-on from the edit's preferences to get the node shortcuts running. With the Z rotation, we can fix the sun direction in the sky, make it cast from the area we want, and that depends on the sun camera angle, so experiment with it depending on your project. To cast some shadows, you can use gobos or do your own. With exterior scenes, we can add a plane, place it in front of the building so that it blocks the sunlight, maybe scale it around a bit. Then in the nodes, switch back to the object type to add a material to this plane. We can then use the alpha from the principal BSDF to input a Voronoi texture, switch it to 4D type for the W value. We don't need this value here in video, but we will talk about it. I will also need a color ramp, drop it after the texture, and bring the black and white colors from each side. The texture scale is the key here. Make it on 20 for a start, and let's see what's going on. The black on the ramp will make the holes more clear. The white is for the smooth edges. You can use the W value to change the pattern. Thus, if it keyframed, it can generate a nice shadow animation. And here is the result with the shadow plane. Might need some adjustment in the scale value and the white color from the ramp. But with two minutes and even less, you can generate a pro exterior lighting on any scene. And that's about it. Remember to subscribe, cause why not? And see you guys in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.